and I most certainly would have never realized my full potential. For all I know, I might have already given up. Because believe me, I wasn't ready by the time high school ended. Emily, three years ago, would think that you were seriously disturbed if you had told her that she'd be standing up here today. I thank all of my endeavors and accomplishments to this college and the friendships, connections, and support I've received in my time here. To put it nicely, I was quite the hooligan back in my day. <laughs> Upon coming to West Shore, I felt that I was missing a sense of purpose and needed to find something more. More than just coming to class, and more than just working at my job. Although I am a workaholic and have a strong lust for learning, I needed something else. The answer to that was Student Senate. I remember when I first contemplated joining Senate. I was in Dr. Halal's Biology One with Guy Smith, the president himself at the time, and Jamie Dorman, who was director of student life. I mentioned wanting to join, and Guy got a crazy look in his eye. He's also a friend of my brother's, so I'd known him for a while, but he said, Emily, you could be president. <laughs> of course I thought, yeah, right, hold up. This is even huge, this is so huge that I even want to join. No way could I take over. But here I am, about 20 months later, standing before all of you, still trying to figure out if I'm even a good public speaker or not, and rambling on about my passion for this college. This wouldn't be a speech that was true to me if I didn't get a little cheesy and challenge all of you to take that first step in the direction of achievement. Too many times in life do we allow ourselves to push off everyday goals and lifelong aspirations to the side, saying, maybe tomorrow. In that sense, tomorrow is a mystical land where about 99% of all human productivity, motivation, and achievement is stored. Don't let your treasures of tomorrow sit in storage and collect dust. 